Welcome to Genshin Optimizer, where we really wish you wouldn't do this. In this guide, I'll show you how to match the optimizer to your in-game damage numbers. The optimizer is extremely accurate, down to single digits in many cases, so if your damage numbers aren't matching, I'm sorry to say, but this might be a player skill issue. If you haven't seen our guides on setting up a new character, adding weapons or external buffs, please watch these first as they're paramount in allowing the optimizer to do its job. Since matching damage numbers relies heavily on game knowledge, you must understand which buffs are active, including event modifiers or abyss cards, if the team provided buff stack or snapshot, and how enemy resistances work. Needless to say, if your character level, weapon refinement, or team state are not correct, your numbers can never be accurate. For this reason, it can be a good idea to also compare your in-game stats to the optimizer, since this can highlight problem areas. Also, the optimizer defaults to average damage in its calculations, which takes the chance of a critical hit happening into consideration, so make sure you're looking at the non-crit or critical hit numbers. And while it's common to optimize for the ideal buff situation, you don't always achieve this in-game, such as picking up Gwalba's Chili, stacking Eula's Lightfall Sword, or accumulating Raiden's Resolve Stacks. If you're taking advantage of buffs from teammates that scale from their builds or conditional states, make sure these are also accurate to in-game. Because the amount of damage enemies take scales off their level, defense, and resistance to certain elements, you must correctly configure these. You can access this by expanding the enemy level UI element. If you are unsure what the resistances are, you can check the wiki page to find out. Keep in mind that some enemies change their resistance based on certain phases or triggers during a fight. And a key point here is that while Genshin halves the amount of resistance reduction below 0%, the optimizer does this automatically. For example, say an enemy has a base physical resistance of 10%, but during the fight they receive a 50% resistance drop. Boom! 10 minus 50 is negative 40. Quick maths. Enter this value and the optimizer will do the rest. Do not enter negative 20. The optimizer is already doing this calculation in the background. Now a common trap is that you may be doing a mono element 2 character team challenge. The optimizer will still give you the Pyre Resonance bonus, however the resonance bonuses are only active in game if you have a full team of 4. Another can be the Millennial Movement weapon series as the buff does not stack, so if you have multiple team members using these, simply turn the others off. This is also true for the Veridescent 4 piece bonus if you have two Animo characters swirling the same element, simply turn one off. Additionally, the Veridescent 4-piece bonus only activates if the character equipped with a set is on field when the swirl occurs. If you still cannot get your numbers to match, you'll have to remove as many buffs as possible until it does, then add them back one by one. It may be tedious, but this is a foolproof way of finding out where things are going wrong. Finally, if all else fails, remove Mona from the party and try again. I hope this guide was helpful, and if you have further questions, don't hesitate to join our Discord community to ask for assistance.